Today I want to share five ways in which psychedelic experiences have changed and transformed my life forever, permanently, full, real transformation, right? Because with psychedelic integration, it seems at times that these openings are so big that we cannot grasp all the insights and we cannot fully integrate everything we have experienced. But as I like to say, it's like, even if we have this opening of a thousand percent, even if we can integrate 0.00001% of this grand opening and of these insights and realizations and of this expanded state of consciousness, we have made huge progress in our life. Hey, I'm Berlin. This is Psychedelic Integra uh, Actualization. <laughs> Here we talk about uh, psychedelic integration as well as psychedelic preparation, right? If you're curious about psychedelic integration or preparation coaching, you can check out the link in the video description. So it was interesting to reflect on how my life has actually transformed because of my psychedelic experiences, right? And the psychedelic experiences are just one part of this grander theme of self-actualization, of self-realization, uh, of walking the path of self-discovery and self-expression, right? But they have been a powerful catalyst for me to really accelerate this transformation right? and really set me out on this path. So the first way in which psychedelics have changed my life forever is they definitely made me more authentic. Or should I say, they opened me up to recognize my authentic self, my authentic desires, my authentic way of being in the world. And to connect to that, to even know that, has helped me a great deal in my life to stay true to myself, right? Because the first step was just to get to know myself. And psychedelics have, have been a very beautiful way to do that, to discover what's truly important to me, to discover what are my values, what are my top priorities in life? What do I feel like is my mission in life? What do I want to do with this life? Right? All these questions, I had no clue back then on what I wanted to do or what's truly important to me. And just by this process of self-discovery, I could kind of ground myself in these authentic desires, in these authentic values, in these authentic perspectives, and then be able to express them out into the world. And from that came also a great deal of confidence. So they definitely changed my life in a way where now I'm more authentic. It's like it's one of my highest joys and biggest strength as, as well to be fully myself, right? If I'm in a social situation and I feel like I'm quiet, I can confidently be quiet and not say anything. That was different back then. Back then I was more like shy and I was like, oh, I'm afraid, I'm, I can't socialize, I'm, not af I'm afraid to say something. And now it's like, I can confidently be silent because I know that this is truly how I want to be in this moment. And if I want to talk, I can approach somebody with a certain sense of curiosity, right? This confidence came from this true sense of authenticity. I think that's one of the key and most powerful ways psychedelics have transformed my life. Number two, and that's an interesting one, that's kind of a double-edged sword. Through psychedelic experiences, I became more sensitive. I became more open. More open and sensitive. And the beautiful side of things is that I got more connected. Kind of, I could form a deeper sense of connection with other human beings, with animals, with plants, with the Mother Earth, with our Pachamama. And that's beautiful. But also through this sensitivity and this opening up, first of all, I could feel my emotions more. 
which is at times very uncomfortable, right? To feel through difficult emotions and be open to them and feel certain kind of instant reactions to different situations through more awareness and consciousness. That's tough at times. When I was younger, I was closed up. Like I was closed down. I was not open at all. I was not sensitive to anything at all. And it was, there was a certain sense of benefit to that, right? But also a certain sense of unhappiness. So opening myself up and really becoming more sensitive, it's difficult at times. In social situations, when people get drunk, I get drunk. Like when people get high on certain substances, I, it kind of transfers over onto me. And that's a completely new experience for me. That's transformative. Back then, that was not the case that I could feel other people's energy. Now I do. And it's an interesting experience, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I, if I like it or not. <laughs> but now I g kind of get a sense of what all of these people are saying. Maybe some of you, right? These highly sensitive people. Because I could never relate. Now I do. And psychedelics have been a powerful catalyst in opening me up to this certain sense of sensitivity. Interesting one. The third one is... Psychedelics transformed my life permanently in a way that I became more humble. I am more humble, that's for sure. I think I've never been not really humble in my life. And because psychedelics entered my life at such an early stage, when I was 15, 16, I never really developed or strengthened my ego too much. <laughs> I kind of entered into this instant flexibility and wavy openness um, of ego. And still they made me more humble. You know, through these intense, insane experiences that are so far beyond the beyond, that we can't even possibly start to comprehend what's going on. That's humbling, right? And I found that this being humble really resonates with me. Really, it's, I think it's a powerful attitude towards life, towards every situation. It's a powerful spiritual practice. It's, it feels even a necessary spiritual practice to be humble in the absolutest sense. To, uh, Meister Eckhart, I think, a German mystic, said, we have to be so humble that we pierce through the ground and we have to be so low, at the lowest lows, that we pierce through the ground to be elevated to the highest, to this communion with God. And really, yeah, I just found that this humility is a great way to, to walk through life with. And, and it gets deepened every time I have an intense psychedelic experience. Every time I count, come out of a transformative, intense psychedelic experience, I always recognize that I was humble because I thought I could handle whatever was going on in the psychedelic space, but no. No, I have no clue. I have no idea. And this sense of I recognize that I don't know that is part of this humility and gets shown to me over and over again. Even though on psychedelics we can feel at times that we understand and we know everything. We can look through everything. At times also, more often than not for myself, I recognize that I don't know. That this is a great big mystery. And I, we're just this tiny speck of a human, right? In this infinitely vast universe. <sighs> we can bow down to that in true humility. And from that springs forth a certain kind of gratitude for myself. And I've really kind of integrated that recognition and that way of being, which has been very transformative for myself. Being more humble. Fourth way, more beauty. Beauty is an interesting word, which I have never really thought about, but through the psychedelic experiences, 
Oftentimes, what I recognize in the experience, especially with an like NNDMT or, or, or something like that, right? I recognize that this is beautiful. Like, what I'm seeing, what I'm experiencing, this bliss, this ecstasy, this, these, this sacred geometry, the infinite patterns that get revealed at times in psychedelic experiences. That is infinitely beautiful. And these patterns, this sacred geometry, this bliss, it's not just accessible in the psychedelic experience. The recognition and awareness of beauty is always available to us. Not just in nature even, because everything is part of nature, right? So to recognize a certain sense of beauty in the human experience, in myself, in others, with all their flaws, in nature, obviously, yes, in the rivers, in the mountains, in the stars, in the sea, but also in the city, in the cars, in the whatever else is, is up in the city, right? In, in our human constructions as well. In the houses, in the camera, in the microphone, in whatever, the clothing. Seeing and recognizing these infinitely beautiful patterns, the sacred geometry, the fractals, outside of psychedelic experiences. And I am kind of able to do that and take a breather and uh, really recognize this sense of beauty. And so this recognition and appreciation of beauty has kind of moved up on my list of values a great deal through the psychedelic experiences. And that has been very transformative, permanently. And the last one, number five, in which psychedelics have changed my life forever, is I am less serious, right? Kind of flows back to this sense of authenticity and um, confidence. But, you know, this cosmic joke, this laughter in the psychedelic experience, this recognition that this is all just a big cosmic joke. This is all just a drama. This is all of the dance of Leela. It's all an illusion anyways, right? <laughs> we can be and should be, I guess, I believe, fully engaged and committed to and um, passionate about this illusion. But the recognition and knowing and understanding that it is an illusion makes it way more fun, right? To be able to dance around here and play and, and, and not take anything too serious, not take ourselves too serious. These, all of these emotional processes and the drama and the sensitivity and the career and the life purpose and the spiritual realization and the enlightenment in this life. Not taking anything of this too seriously. It's a beautiful way of approaching things and this is what I've taken on in my psychedelic journeys. This kind of a higher, bigger picture perspective of things. This knowing of the cosmic joke. And it's helped me a great deal in my daily life. As I've been, for example, <laughs> I cannot resonate with anger too much anymore. It just doesn't click. But at times I, in the illusion, I get angry at the camera not working and oh, this laptop and the video editing software is crashing and I hit my toe and it's like, ah, <laughs> ah, right? I'm angry. <laughs> and I just like, as I'm doing that, I cannot take myself too seriously. I cannot tap myself. I cannot take on this anger and fully embody it. I recognize this anger, I let it express itself, I play it out, but always with the overall bigger picture recognition that this is ridiculous, right? And it's fun. And then it becomes more fun to express anger, 
to lull myself in apathy and lethargy, to whatever else is going on, take responsibility and do stuff in life. And all of these things in which psychedelics have transformed my life permanently, I'm very grateful for them, right? That's the power of, of psychedelics, the true benefit. Even though at times these steps and these integrations of these attitudes are just like tiny steps and it took years for them to kind of fully evolve and build and it, it's gonna take years and decades more to walk on this path. It's a never-ending journey. But the recognition, how far I've come, oh wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there, of course, there's benefits and there's also risks to the psychedelic experience, which we're going to talk about more on the channel. The dangers, right? The cost of using them. I want to point out more of those. But I also want to appreciate their power for really, really transforming my life, right? There's recognition that it's a shortcut and it's not really any doing anything. With the right attitude, set and setting and approach and also then with the right preparation and integration through coaching, book the call if you're interested, right? There is the potential for real transformation and real transformation and change has occurred in my life and it did change my baseline level of consciousness permanently. At least that's my personal experience. So there's great power in that. And I guess there are so many more ways in which psychedelics have transformed my life. And I might do a video part two. Uh, but this was fun just to reflect on that. Thank you very much for watching. If you're curious about proper psychedelic preparation, book the psychedelic preparation consultation. Or if you want to integrate your insights and experiences and really transform your life, check out the psychedelic integration coaching that I'm offering. Link is in the video description. Much love, much love, much love. I'm curious, how has your life transformed as a result out of psychedelic experience? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.